Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Second Peter. And again, I'm going to start at verse 5, but then we will continue to uh, verse number 7 and finish up verse 7 today. But starting in verse 5, the Bible says, And beside this, giving all diligence, again, may I remind you, when God says giving all diligence, that means we should be diligent in paying attention to what he's about to say and be diligent in obeying any commandments uh, that he um, he commands. So moving on here, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue and to your virtue knowledge, <coughs> excuse me, and to your knowledge temperance, <coughs> excuse me, and to your temperance patience and to patience godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness, which we talked about yesterday. And then wrapping up verse seven and to brotherly kindness, charity. Charity. We just did a little series on this, right? Uh, well, I forgot a couple weeks ago, something like that. <clears throat> Charity means love. And it is a love that gives without requiring anything or expecting anything in return. That's, that's, it's a very specific kind of love, right? It's not just some lovey-dovey feeling uh, you know, where you have butterflies in your stomach and, and, and you feel lightheaded. No, that's, that's, not, that's not love. Uh, it means you ate a bad pizza. Uh, but no, charity is a love that gives without expecting anything in return. And, and God expects us to give that kind of love, to have that kind of love uh, to give to people. And this thing of charity, which again, we learn another another passage, which we did a, a series on the love chapter uh, not too long ago, right? This thing, called, this thing of charity, it needs to bleed over to all the other things that we, we looked into, right? This whole list, um, charity, why, why should we show brotherly kindness? Um, it's not because God commanded us to. It should be because of love because of charity that's why that that should be the reason uh, that should be the cause of us to be kind to our brethren and again the patience and the temperance why why should we be those things why should we do that uh, is it because we're scared of god no it should be because you love the you love the lord it should be because you love uh, uh, you know what the lord has to say and 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 you love people uh, it should be charity at the, the foundationally for all of that, uh, same thing with knowledge. Why? Why do we want to learn? Uh, you know, a lot of people they have the wrong motive. They they read all these books, they learn all these things, and they become super intelligent and super smart, but all for the wrong reasons. They put God and way 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 back in in the back burner, the least important in their life. <clears throat> Charity should be the basis for all of that. I read, I learn, I, I gain knowledge because I, I love the Lord. And I love learning about God uh, and also I love people and I want to share God with the people that I love. It should be a foundation of charity. Why do we try to live virtuously? Uh, you know, why, why should we have virtue in, in our Christian walk, in our lives? Because of charity. Charity. That this this love, this giving love, should be the foundation of everything that we do. And once we understand to do that, to have charity as as, as our foundation, our reason for doing everything, because Jesus even simplified it himself. The greatest commandment is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy mind. And the second is like unto the first, right? <clears throat> uh, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. It's love. The two greatest commandments both have to do with love. Love God, love others. Why? And, and, and Jesus said, upon these two commandments hang all the laws and prophets. What's he talking about? He's talking about charity. That's what he's talking about. If, if we have this this charitable love to where we can love people without expecting anything in return easier said than done then then all of the the, the laws and the commandments and the bible all that 
it's a, it's a piece of cake. We don't we won't choke on it. We won't struggle on it. We won't trip over it. You know, it 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 will be it will be easy. You see, if if we love the Lord and we love others, we won't commit adultery. It's not going to be. It's not. It's not going to be tempting. We're not going to. We're not going to uh, uh, steal. We're not going to uh, be dishonest. We're not going to worship false gods. You see, but if we're just focusing on religion, well, then it becomes hard. Then it's a long list of things we were not allowed to do, and it becomes very, very difficult. Uh, a religion that is that has become a pill that is hard to swallow. Uh, charity, charity is expected of the children of God. So let's have this, this charitable love for God and for others. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.